concerning uh, concerning the prayer list, I want to read something for you. Um, something that I believe the Lord had shown me. Um, those of you that like professional sports, I like basketball, I like football. That's pretty much, and I like boxing. Uh, but something similar that at least football and basketball have in common is this home court advantage, right? It's like if 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 the uh, if the team that you're rooting for is defending the home turf, it's something that that when the crowd is into it and the crowd is rooting for the home team. It's like the crowd themselves believe that they can wield the home team to victory. And it seems like the home team plays better when they're at home. In most cases, you get that home team rooting. They're chanting defense, defense. And, and then the crowd is into it. It's the opposing team that's looking to get the crowd out of it. Because they know the crowd seems to be imposing their will. They're, 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 they're rooting their, their home team. They're almost like they're willing them to perform better. And the more the, the, more the home team roots and, 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 and raves for, the, for their home team, the more the crowd, the fans root and rage for the, for the home team, it seems the better that they perform. And so the opposing team has to do whatever they can to take the crowd out of it. Hmm? They got to do whatever they, because the crowd seems to be willing the home team, you know, onto, onto victory. Better defense, better offense. What can you do with that, right? And so the home, again, the opposing team is working to try to get the crowd out of it. Because they know that, and I look at that as a spiritual thing. Even though, it's translated in the natural, but I believe by way of the spirit that people are operating, the fans are cheering and, and they, they're chanting out defense. I believe that there's a spiritual component there that's, that, that, that's transmitting to those players in whatever sport they be that they're representing that they end up doing better, right? Now, I look at that as called, that's called the home team advantage, right? Now let's look at it when it comes to prayer, uh, people that are that we're praying for. I believe that when we begin to start rooting for our brothers and sisters, and now watch this. Let me read one scripture to you, and then we'll go right into our Bible study. But let me read the scripture to you. This is coming from Psalm chapter of uh, division number 24, verse 1. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. Guess what that means? We got the home court advantage anywhere we go because our father owns everything. <laughs> right? Our father owns everything. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Huh? The world and they that are therein. That means we got the home court advantage everywhere we go. So whenever our brothers and sisters are contending for the faith, we have to be the ones to look at their names on our prayer list. And folks, we got to hold up our brothers and sisters in prayer. We got to be rooting for them because they're contending for the faith. This is why their names are on the prayer list. That prayer list is a roster of, of those that are contending, right? And so we come together to support them. And it don't matter which court they're contending on because our daddy owns everything. We always have the home court advantage. And so we have to hold up our brothers and sisters in prayer. Amen. We have to pray for them. If their names are on that prayer list, we, we have to be rooting for them. The way the world does it, they'll show up for their, for their team. The fans will show up and they'll root and, and you know, and, and they spend time. They'll even support them. They'll be wearing their jerseys. They'll paint their face to, the, to that particular color. You know, they're in it, and they believe that they're the way they demonstrate, the way they show their support, is pushing a will of theirs onto the players that are contending, right? And so, folks, we have to. 
in this case, somewhat take the same approach. We have to support them. Pray ye one for another. Amen. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. The scripture says that our prayers, our support for our brothers and sisters that are on that prayer list, if we are walking right, then those that are walking right, the prayers of a righteous man of Ellis Muth, those that are in right standing of God, if you start supporting your brothers and sisters in prayer, that's going to help their cause as they're contending for their faith. Amen. So that's the home team advantage. Amen. And we want to take advantage of that. So, real quick, the names that are on our prayer list, uh, and I have this page open, forgive me folks, let me hurry up and get to it because time is, is winding down for us. For the month of May, uh, Jade O'Keen, and folks forgive me if I said the names wrong, Jane O'Keen, Jade O'Keen, um, Wendy Skinner, Eddie Neal, Frederick Thompson, uh, Cheryl Skelton and family, Karen Butler and family, uh, Catherine Bow, our sister Jackie Cooper, our brother Kevin Liggins, our dear sister, a uh, friend Dunham. Folks, remember, they're contending for the faith. Their family members may be contending for the faith. Uh, we have to show our support. We have the home team advantage, uh, and we have to root for them. We hold them up in prayer, and and let, and and God is the coach. <laughs> He's, he's going to get them together, but we are coming on out to support them. Amen. So to God be the glory. This snippet has been brought to you by United Body of Christ Church. For more Bible studies and lessons, please visit our website at www.ubcchurch.org.